Complexity got one win, it was against Wings, and it was a bit of a strange game. I thought Complexity got it mostly because of the draft, and even there they struggled. Oh, catching out Hanskin there with the snowball forward, looking to burst him, and they will with the heal bomb. That's going to be your first blood there for the side of Secret. Nice five-man smoke up, and just catching the Witch Doctor just on the tip, and the side of Complexity not able to do anything about that. Apparently, K-pop said that Hanskin means glove. So it is... I believe it does, yes. yes. Yeah. Interesting name. I... I guess it's, in, yeah, you, you can't get into the head of someone else when they name themselves, it's just, it seems like such a, you know, glove. It's, yeah, it's just a, a very basic thing. I think it's stuff like, like Malk, you know, literally just means milk. Oh, and, uh, I, I didn't actually know that. I like to name themselves after just things that they objects. like. Yeah, yeah, things that they like, gloves and milk. <laughs> Misery. Nice. It's going to be able to walk this off. They'll get the rune on the Death Prophet at the same time. We are, we'll be able to claim his. What do you like more, gloves or milk? Oh, it's got to be milk. I think it well, in Minsk? Uh, in Mi well... Oh, it's in my tea. Good. I mean, it's pretty cold here. I think over here I might go for the, the gloves. That's true, yeah. So Hansken is technically in his element here. As that... And what? Misery died to... Me. What? Alright. Alright, okay. I, I don't know if that's on us because I, I definitely didn't expect I that didn't to happen. I didn't expect that to happen. I did, sorry, sorry lads, I mean, we should... Maybe surprised by the fact that the Venger's there and the Enchantress wasn't on his own? Yeah, so these lanes, I mean, do you think this is something that Secret did expect? They do have that Weaver against the Lone Druid, yeah. as you said, but it's going to be a, a little bit more than just that, with the fact that supports are coming in. You've got a TP from Zafri. So you have got this tri-lane versus dual lane, because at the moment Puppy's looking for the rotations. He's heading around towards the mid lane. We're seeing if he can get a, a, a look in onto Limp. Down the sentry, and won't quite catch the wall, but he leads himself in with the snowball. A little bit deeper now with the siphon. Puppy has to walk this off and ends up taking a hell of a lot of damage at the same time. Top lane, Complexity get a kill onto Dazzle. So the rotation around See? the map, better for Complexity to start with. Um, it made sense for, for Secrets to run the Weaver against the Lone Druid. Then Complexity realized that Timbersaw is probably going to be his Enchantress because Timbersaw doesn't rely on right clicks and that's the Enchantress strength in lane. They send a gank down there, then the gank comes back up and when Puppy is not there, they, they make another kill. So Vengeful Spirit is just getting a lot of work done, basically. Yeah, they're going to try again on mid lane, this time with a smoke, Puppy and Pylai die. Need, usually you need level 2 tusk, actually, before you make these it's, rotations. Yeah, with these level 1 snowballs, it's hard for Puppy to... Because if you've got the shards as well, you block them in, you get the heal bomb, that kind of... There we go. They're going to try again. They've got a bit of a better angle onto Lim. Here with the Sun Strike and the Heal Bomb. They should be able to get this one. The Spirit Siphon, not enough heals to keep him alive. And this time the gank is successful there. The side is secret. Yeah, and he's going to get very close but to But at the same up. time, Weeha. No, sorry, EE. -E. Weaver. Rather, gets taken down by Complexity. I, I think that every single time uh, Z Freak has cast stun on Venge this game, they've made a kill. I was like, what the hell is going on this game? This is. A bit all over the place from Secret. I mean, they are getting themselves a couple of kills, but Complexity seem to be dealing with them at this point in time. Yeah, and Enchantress is going to have a pretty good start, given the fact that they got that first, that early kill in the, the Timbersaw. So all the lanes, pretty decent, I would say, for Complexity. Yeah, this is yeah, Secret. Definitely step it up a little bit. Bottom lane, the matchup. Uh, well, I, at least misery for himself. He's finding a lot of farm, as expected. He's getting the CS swindles. Not really going to be able to do enough to harass him, but at the same time, misery. Not necessarily going to be killing this enchantress. The mid lane CS 15 for five on Invoker. They can the nine for two on them. So we are is starting to lead ahead, and of course with that assist as well when they went in. And uh, ECS uh, 10 for two. So not necessarily the best that he could have hoped for, and, and that death did kind of hold him back a little bit. Chessy just a little bit ahead there with the 11 for 5. I think his EECS e e is less important than Misery or, or Weeha's early on in the game because they want to make sure that they just weather the storm and complexity start pushing and Timbersaw and Invoker are a bigger part of that. Weeha's probably going to be split pushing and it, once he's really farmed he'll just fight into them because they don't have that control. But I think the big time, the first big timing in this game is when complexity actually mount their push and that's going to be about as Timbersaw ready to deal with it. Secret so just from the low ground seeing if they could get a a lead in to make a jump. Puppy's still running around. He has got that level 2 and, and Pilar died with 2 points in the Shadow Wave. So they have got the heal bomb potential. But they're gonna maybe look back towards the mid lane. They want to try and secure the 4 minute rune. Z Freak is there and actually Puppy. A little bit scared. 
Yeah, with the Witch Doctor as well, they need to be careful of the size They do have Weaver coming in. In fact, they want to fight. Weaver going in with the Cold Snap onto Lim, but there's the Magic Missile onto the Invoker. Weaver being chased down and drop a Meteor, but with the right clicks, Z Freak will go down. Lim, can he find the return kill? He does, so they will get the trade there. We weren't able to find anything else. Meanwhile, at the same time, just a bit to the north, Puppy did get the kill onto the Witch Doctor. So making a two for one. But is the two supports uh, losing your Invoker? And it did cause, uh, force quite a big rotation from Secret away from farming to get those kills. It's a nice little play from Weeha, even though he dies. Meteoring like away as he was running. So if you want to chase him, you have to run over the Meteor. If he does it you know, towards the guy, he's not going to actually get the kill. So I definitely appreciate that. Four for four, still very close at this point. Be very interested to see how much misery can do, because top of the CS, he's getting a huge amount on this uh, Timbersaw here in the safe lane. Especially compared to Envy's Weaver. He's got the Aquila done now. Still holding his out, but of course, very, very squishy. Enchantress is level six, and I, I, I think I see Venge down there, so they might go for another kill on misery now. Um, it's already a possibility. And I think that depending on how far you go with Timber Chain, it can increase the damage of the impetus. Right. Oh, that is a big stomp there. Stopping Misery's Timber Chain out and Z Freak to follow through with a magic missile. And again, Secret just, they're getting caught out up and down the map. It's, it's pretty much every time Venge appears somewhere, there's a kill. And I agree that that stomp of the Sentinel was really good. It was well planned by Swindle really in advance. Well I mean, what's the what's the plan when you're kind of running a draft with with Weaver? What, what kind of pace are you hoping for the game to go? Are you are you playing for the late game or are you kind of hoping for the early game advantage? Mm, I in secrets are one way to to fight against the push is to try and just dominate the lanes. But I think that's you you don't really expect that to be the only way to win. I think that their their major plan to deal with the the timings of complexity uh, involves Timbersaw getting farm getting items, and that's why I think it's. I don't know, he's got a lot of farm, but he has gone down twice. The thing for Secret, and maybe the one thing to focus on for Complexity is that their Death Prophet looks under threat quite often. Uh, she's not that far behind the Invoker, but she did go down once, and there was a lot of action around the mid lane. I think the reason that fight happened at the mid, like in the river, was because mostly uh, Secret wanted to put pressure on Death Prophets, and then Complexity can protect her, and she's, she's quite central to what's happening here early on. Because if, if she has a poor game, it, it, I don't know, Complexity maybe don't even start their push. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's uh, a bit of momentum re responsibility here held by the Death Prophet. Game back on. We are, of course, working towards his Midas. Uh, Come to 600 on top of the Gloves of Haste, and Puppy is in position just to see if they can catch out Olympia. If he comes a little bit too close, and there's going to be a little too close. They'll get the jump through. Shard's getting dropped down as well. They've got the Cold Snap with the Siphon. They have to walk it off, and the TP from Hanskin enough to force back Secret. Try and make a go there with three heroes. They aren't going to be able to get anything more in limp. He'll also find himself a regen rune top. It's interesting because a lot of the time when Tusk skank into the mid lane, the hard part is just getting onto the person, and he keeps getting there, but on his own and not with enough backup, and they can't always make that kill. It, it's still going to make uh, limp feel a lot less safe in his lane. Oh, they want to go for misery here. They're going to try and wrap around. They've got the magic missile into the centaur storm, and look at the damage from this impetus. You know that they've done this before. Complexity know exactly how to run this duo. And again, it's, it's the most important hero for them to be killing the, the Timbersaw over and over and over because the Timbersaw is the one that's going to stand in the way once they start trying to go for objectives. Absolutely, especially yeah, as you said, the hero at the top of the farm. It's, it is a high priority kill for the side to be getting. Six for four. Envy, 27 for nine. Still just a little bit behind this lone druid, but as you said, he's feeling fairly safe in this lane. There's just the two heroes here. He should not really have any danger of being caught out unless he goes over aggressive and they're able to punish him. Backups around as well. In fact, Misery is now going to TP up to the top lane, avoiding this uh, bottom lane confrontation with the Enchantress and the Vent. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if this is to. Is he is he defending himself from dying? Or is... Actually, I think he might be just going to fight. And this time, the Snowball's not going to be on to Oh, hands again. In a lot of trouble. Didn't expect that straight through. No mercy for Secret. They burst down the Witch Doctor. Yeah, that's a scary. I was thinking of Tuskens and. Oh, oh, at the same time. <laughs> okay. So Invoker killed Death Prophet, and Enchantress, she Hadouken the uh, Invoker. I guess so. Yeah. Alright, okay. Yeah, because Enchantress yeah. definitely wasn't there herself. No, 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 no. So. 
things going a little bit haywire all across the map at the same time as, as we were seeing that that bit of action onto the witch doctor they will get a push onto this tower the hell's going on a duke and purple balls being shot everywhere and this enchantress swindles he seems to be pretty much the the biggest issue here for secret at the moment he's four for zero for zero level eight he's getting all the farm that he needs and uh, as we saw a little bit in the last game against vega he Got to be careful when I go up against this end. She's got drums done now on top of the treads. Already the impetus is just doing huge work and the micro as well has been there. It's so interesting, the, the drums choice, because it's roughly the same cost as the Dragon Lance, which is really, really good in Enchantress. It gives similar stats, gives you HP, gives a little bit of attack. And it tells me that they really want that aura for the team, the kind of like little bit of move speed and attack speed. Uh, I wouldn't be that surprised if Enchantress buys the Dragon Lance anyway after the drum too, but apparently I think you'd more commonly see the Dragon Lance. Australian top looking for the hand skin kill and they're gonna get it with the sun strike. Be a TP in from the Venge. Envy? Envy? Got time lapse. All right. Be a little careful, they'll chase him down a bit. But he'll turn, he'll juke it off with the Scucci, he's gonna be fine. Is this where the game turns around because Venge went for a kill and didn't make it? I mean, maybe, yeah, this was the first time that Zavriks, yeah, tried to go for something and didn't get it. Could be this this beginning of change here, favoring the side, the secret. At the same time, Enchantress is just being like completely uncontrolled. It seems like yeah, secret's so approach is just like whatever Enchantress. And we do have uh, we are playing an uh, Exhort Invoker, right? So there's there's a lot of spell damage, which is very good against Enchantress. There's the Timber Sword, also the Burst. So they do have ways to kill Enchantress going later in the game, and it'll be interesting to see if that Enchantress ends up with the KB, which was I think a talking point of the previous game that, that he didn't buy one. Misery trying to move in onto Swindles and burst him down and he'll do it. Talk about that, yeah. that spell damage. Big value kill there for Misery, ending the streak, getting a good amount of gold. And uh, shutting the Enchantress off the map for 30 seconds, yeah. Big kill for the side of Secret. 9 to 7 at the moment, 10 minutes in, Limp. Finding himself an Invis, he's got the phase, has... I guess got that exorcism ready. Envy. Keeping the pressure on top. I guess the question is, how, how do you think this Weaver's going to build this game? Does he need to go for the Lincolns, or is this a game where we see him go uh, just for the straight-up Desso, potentially? Yeah, I don't think he needs Lincolns. I'm, I'm not sure what he does buy. Maybe it's something else earlier. Some Weavers used to buy, like, Medallion for fighting, but he could get Dragonlance as well. It's yeah. not a bad Dragonlance hero. Um, it's actually, I think the biggest deal in this game so far is that Secret killed the first tower, and they're, like, the ones pressuring the lanes, even though Complexity are the lineup that's more about grouping and pushing. And that's, I think it's very important. If you're the team defending against the push, if you get some early objectives, breathing room on the map, that extra bit of gold, and we can look at the net worth and see that actually Secret's got three of the, the top four net worths. It's the DP and the Lone Druid a bit behind. That was using complexity now with smoke. Seeing who they can find out across the map, they're going to head straight into the jungle. We are kind of close by, but they're going to make a line by left foot straight towards the bottom. Misery, he's holding on, he's going to reveal himself, yes, so they know that he's there. They've actually got the full five man down here, the side of complexity, so they want to die. Misery's going to go for the straight TP out and he's going to make it they just in time before the, the whole forest draws way out. His ulti just follows him to base and... Nasty forestation there. The space is kind of created, but as common complexity, even though they don't get the kill, they get themselves a tower. We, uh, Weaver's been still left uh, alone a bit top. He's starting to rack up the gold. 1300. Z Freak on his own in the dire jungle. What a sign that is. You see Enchantress pick up two smokes. And to me, that's like, you can, Swindle, you can tell, is like telling his team, we gotta get something going. Oh, Envy. Went right under the tower for this one, and it will time that straight back out. They'll steal the Forge Spirit. We can see Puppy trying to fight up against the bear, Chessie. Hang around on the silent lit, here comes Complexity, moving in at full force. They're gonna see if they can find someone to get the silence out. The impetus onto Weeha, do they have the control there? The swap, bringing Weeha back. They do have a shallow grave now with a snowball, going straight back in. We are looking for the TP out, but the paralyzing cask is there. The impetus onto Puppy, Puppy's gonna go down as well as Weeha. Two kills there for the side of Complexity. They've got the push here with that exorcism to go for a tier one. Fortification will come out, but it looks like Complexity should still get it. And again, another very good fight here for the side of Complexity. Yeah, and that's what I think. When Swindle bought those smokes, it was like, a, he probably told his team, guys, we're really strong right now, let's just force things, and they go for it, they get the kills, they get the tower, and now it's starting to look a lot more like the game that they were hoping for with their draft. 
much big stuff indeed, and this Enchantress just getting richer and richer. 1k on top of the Dragon Lance drums. Level 11 as well on Swindles. This is... Yeah, he was given quite a start here. We have seen that they can burst him down. You know, Misery with the combo can deal with him. I mean, if he were to buy a BKB, I can come back to it because it was a talking point for the last game, but they really... I think he's unkillable if he, if he buys a BKB in this game for... Quite a long time. Yeah, at this point, when there's, you know, you've not gotten any damage item yet on the Weaver. Weaver would, not just damage, Weaver would need its own BKB, otherwise the untouchable yeah. is just gonna deal with it, so... It might be, it might be a consideration for Swindle to actually buy BKB even before Aghanim steps in this game on Enchantress. Okay. Smoked up. Ready to go on the bottom lane. Misery, actually Timber Chaining past the towers here. Maybe trying to kind of access the bait. It's going to work. Complexity are moving in to try and look for the kill. They get the silence, the swap. The silence is going to be off point. Misery still able to timber chain out. And Secret are incredibly deep here for this fight. Thinking about trying to go. Chessie comes in as well. Secret just kind of messing around here in the tree line. They'll get the defensive weave down. Alma starts to tick up. I think Secret realized they're in a little bit of an awkward position here. And they don't really want to fight blindly into the side. They just try to force a play because DP ulti is cooling down. All the better teams you'll see in this tournament have been facing DP that way. Whenever the ult is not ready, you just you have to go for some kind of kills or tower. Or... Fortunately, Secret actually don't get anything out of this one, but it's 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 a positive sign that they acknowledge the window at least. Let's see, we'll split themselves back up across the map. Hansken, not yet. Got his level six here on, on that wish, Doctor. Close to level eleven on Death Prophet. But uh, still, as you said, yeah, the Enchantress may be top. They have got three solid uh, high net worth heroes on the side of Secret. Uh, Complexity are actually going to look for Roshan here with the help of Untouchable. Question is, does Secret yep, know about this? Are they going to, yeah. Can they contest it, though? Uh, Timbersaw could cause some trouble. Invoker could throw a Meteor, but it certainly doesn't look like they've make, made that decision to contest. Yeah, they're just, they're just pushing the lanes, getting value in the meantime. It's, I mean, it, it can actually be disastrous for a team if you try and contest, like, desperately. Everyone go from the rest of the map, get there, and they still get rushed. So I think it's actually a sign of just Secret being quite calm in the face of they're getting rushed, whatever. We'll get as much value as we can. Uh, two tier ones for it, so not the worst of trades in all dear. Timbersaw getting caught out on the bottom left alone, and Complexity moves straight down there after getting the Aegis. We, we do still have this dynamic where Secret are killing so many towers, and it's definitely not what we expect if we look at the two drafts, and that's that's certainly worrying for Complexity. I think if Secret hadn't killed, how many have they got now? Three towers? If they'd killed zero towers instead of three towers, Complexity would be very, very far ahead. Oh, an MV. Yeah, they're out. Puppy TP's away as soon as Complexity coming in with the defense. Gets himself out as well. It does look like... Uh... It's an envy is going to go for Lincolns anyway. I mean, it's a standard build up on Weaver, so. Uh, you're definitely playing. I mean, it feels like you're playing for the later portions, but I guess when you've got the Invoker, you, you have got that strength, but are doing it against a very, very strong lineup on the side of, of Complexity with that lone Druid that's now got 2.5k gold. Uh, interesting enough, it's not been the Midas game for uh, for this lone Druid that we've pretty much seen. I, I like to the majority of lone Druids that I've casted do seem to go for that Midas into Radiance, I guess. With the money you stop piling, it will still be the Radiance here for Chessie? Yeah, it's it's likely to be the Radiance. It, I don't think he goes back to the Midas. And if he doesn't buy a Maelstrom very soon, then we kind of know it's it's the Radiance he's saving for. Tunnel Envy is very far behind enemy lines. He is a Weaver, so very slippery. In fact, they, they don't really have an efficient way to deal with him at all. So he's just going to cut the wave, I think. Push just really be annoying. And I might still uh, be able to have a little bit good tier 1, but... It's going to be a full health. You've got Pilati pressuring the mid lane there with the Forge Spirits that have been laid down by Weeha. So even though there were hiccups for Secret in the lane stage, I actually think they have a very intelligent approach to how the game looks right now. Is they go for the windows when DP LT is down, they go for kills. They don't contest the rush, they just get towers, they understand they need to get value, they're cutting waves. So they're, they're pulling out all the tricks that need to be used to make sure the complexity don't get good value by grouping up as five. Oh, MV. You can see that he was thinking about going for that. Uh, there's a sun strike, but it's going to be duped. Hans Kent is going to be fine for the time being, and Secret, they just feel that they can't try and dive in that deep. I do think this is a dynamic that we've seen play out many times in this tournament, and it's a dynamic throughout lots of patches. Very often, 
a more experienced or, or somewhat stronger team, I guess you could say, Secret R, will punish the, the weaker or less experienced team when they group up by, by not giving them what they want. All them. Oh, some strike. Gonna be split anyway. Gonna be enough. Envy is still hanging around here on this Weaver. Maybe as annoying as he can, blocking off the creeps. Did manage to get a little wave around, so they'll go for the tier 1 push here. Fortification will buy some time for the side of Secret, but the tower will still fall. At the same time, Misery's pressuring onto the tier 2 on the bottom lane. TP coming in for a limp. Let's get down the silence with the Spirit Siphon. Gonna begin the chase. There's a TP in from the Venge, but it is the long one. And this can't come in for the low ground, and Misery could be in trouble. The cask will fly out, it's not going to bounce onto anything. But again, with the Siphon slow, trying to allow him to close the gap, they'll get the swap off, and Misery has to kill himself. Misery has to kill himself. That's harsh. That's You just said that on the stream. But... Oh, oh, it's true, yeah. A little bit harsh. Don't but... kill yourself, Misery. But, uh... I'm sure your parents love you. Yeah, I'm sure they do. And I, I, I think that the, if, despite killing Misery, even if he hadn't uh, suicided there, I feel like Complexity are just not getting the trade they want at all. Strategically, tactically on the map, they're trying to group up and do things. They recognize that Secret can't really fight into them, and Secret do as well. And Secret are getting excellent trades everywhere, and I think Complexity will be getting increasingly frustrated at, at the situation. Now, let's have a look at the graph. How's that kind of showing? It's just been yeah, up and down, up and down. It's 2k at the moment for Secret, but 20 minutes in, it's yeah, very much got the chance to go back. And oh, the snowball onto the bear. Look at Try and catch it out. Oh, uh, nope. Savage Raw says nope. Bear will live. We'll be able to get itself back home. Oh, Sunstrike the bear. No. I guess he tanks it there for his pet. He's pretty close to Radiance. That could be a big item. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, it's not through the recipe. So 20 minutes, uh, 20 or so minutes, he's going to have that done. And it's going to be quite an issue here for the side of Secret. It's, you know, now no longer that easy for Envy to play around. and and get the kill onto the lone druid without mischance affecting him. I'll be interested to see what item he does go for next after Lincoln, if he goes for the Deso, or if maybe because of that he thinks of going for the straight up MKB. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I, I start to understand more and more why he bought Lincoln's though, because if you look at the way Secret are approaching the game, Complexity try to group. Secret say we won't give you a fight, we're gonna split push, and usually the response then is you have to have pick-off power. How are they gonna make pick-offs? Like, they need to buy a Hex to try to get pickoffs on this Weaver, but he's already got a Lincoln's in advance, so... That's really the frustration for Complexity right now, is that they don't have good ways to pick off Secret Zero, so Secret can just keep split pushing and pressuring the map. He's coming out onto Envy. Chessie coming through. Envy has got the backup here of Misery. Level 13 at this point, and as we saw just uh, down uh, on the bottom lane when the Enchantress was getting some farm. Worth noting the Swindles, I think that is the completed Agonims now. Yeah, Aghanim's now done for this Enchantress. 21 minutes in, she is looking incredibly stacked. Only 1k behind Weeha's mid lane Invoker. Yeah, very, very That's an Invoker strong. that had a, had a Midas very early on as well. Yeah, ridiculously strong, the Enchantress. But again, it's it's all nothing if you don't get things to hit. And Enchantress is actually one of those, like, sort of carry slash core heroes, which, it, because of your power comes from Impetus, you're not actually good at hitting buildings. You know, you really want the enemy team to come fight you. And exactly what Secret are doing is just not that. So I, I still ask the question, at what point are Complexity going to find some kind of way to, to make pickoffs? Because I think they need that. They need to either just commit and say, okay, we're going straight down the lane, doesn't matter if you split push, or they have to find a way to make pickoffs. You sound like what Envy's going to budget now, just 1300. Saved up, highlight on Weeha. They're just pushing in the bottom. They've got the Forge Bridge out. They've got to have a pretty good go at getting this tier 2. There's a fortification available for Complexity, but they're not going to look to defend this, so they'll take the tier 2, the side of Secret. At the same time, Complexity, keeping for the trade. Got Exorcism up and ready to go if Secret do try and fight into this, but it looks like Secret going to play the safer game, and Complexity going to play on its even safer. Any big items coming out, Etherlands on top of that, Yules is now done for Limp. Bottom lane, still secret. They're gonna just get some damage onto the tier three and, and a fair bit as well with the forge spirit. So secret actually getting a bit more done with this and uh, complexity realized. They'll send back swindles here for the defense. To try and hold back push that this uh, this invoker was starting to do. But already we're seeing how much this this invoker can do with the forge spirits if he gets left alone in the lane. Yep. And uh, each time I just check again and I'm like, has the dynamic changed? Nope, not really. Nice. And I worry, I've, 
I don't know what is the game plan for complexity to, to change it. I, I don't think the, the all in push works. To defend even if they wanted to, though they probably won't have to. I I don't see the item that's gonna suddenly give them the pick off card. They like farm into two hexes. Uh, I guess with one hex they could make pickoffs on at least the timber saw, even though they wouldn't be able to kill the weaver that easily. Wait. Too much you can do against the bear on his own at this point in time. The ping's coming out. Complexity at the moment. What's the, what is going to be the game plan for them? They're looking around the map. If there's going to be an opening for them to go on. He of course working on the bus. Bottom lane. We ha He's caught out the Enchantress. Swindles. Maybe in a bit of trouble. Uh, he's actually going to steal one of the Forge Spirits now. Weeha does need a bit of backup if he wants to try and go for this kill. And in fact, he's got to run. Look at the impetus damage. Forcing back this Invoker. Got the shards. Swindles. Can he game this one? Well, there's four heroes on the side of the secret closing in. And probably can't quite get the ultimate off there. Swindles walks, uh, walks away in time before the, the attack animation gets arrives. through. And now, yeah, Complexity. They're the ones with backups now. Puppy caught out. Magic misses all into the impetus. It's another kill here for Swindles. At the same time, you have Chessie just forcing Misery right back down the lane. And yeah, Complexity, they had the Enchantress covered. They just, the side of Secret couldn't kill her quick enough, you know, before Complexity were able to react. But, but look at Secret's response there, split pushing as usual. Although... He's out. Gets out and he's safe and Envy goes back to farming. It's, it's not a very interactive game plan from Secret, but I think it's the correct one. Oh, for Misery. <laughs> he needs to be very, very careful. He's out of mind. He might be out of luck. I think he's dead. He's going to try and get himself on the side. The bear actually dying as it does too long, so Misery will live. Now it's Secret with the answer coming forward, but Limp, he's got Exorcism. And Puppy Big Chip, look at this impetus hits, just bursting through the man. He's got rooted. There is a shallow grave, but this man's a dead man. Puppy's gone for 40 seconds, and complexity... It's a lot of stalling. Take the tier two. It's a lot of stall. There was two graves in a row. He just graved the timber, then he graved the the tusk. So a lot of saving, a lot of time made for eternal envy. And DP is this. This has got to be level two ulti by now, right? It is. Yeah, this yeah. is level uh, level thirteen. Yeah. So they're gonna try and get as much as they can before the ulti runs out. But I think it's out quite soon. It's out now. Oh, and catch out the bear. And I'll screw with him. There'll be a swap onto Weeha. It's a freak there now. Now that Weaver has got that Deso doing a fair bit of damage, and this could be the turnaround fight. Casey now on the cost side of Complexity gets hands, Ken. Envy, slowly but surely doing it. They've got pretty much no armor, and that's another one. Swindles will be able to get himself out. Yeah, and again, it's it's like, XD got to the enemy base, and they were like, this is such a rare chance, we want to get something done. But the DP ulti didn't have a lot of time on it, and Secret knew that. And as soon as DP ulti runs out, Secret also knew that's the window where they win the fight. So now Envy now has a Desolator as well, and... It's not, yeah, for a while now, I think it's Eternal Envy and we have both been at the top of the net worth, not just the one of them. Yeah, they're really starting to catch back up and I imagine that'll be shown on the graph. Yeah, we're starting to see a 5k lead, so still not the hugest, but definitely Secret regaining some of the strength. Been on top. Uh, Misery now, uh, what does he need to build on this Timber Saw this game? Does he need a BKB? Um, I don't think so, really. Uh, oh, he's travel. going for the straight up pots first. Yeah. There's that, and he might even just buy Shivas off that or Aghanim Scepter. I don't think there's huge pressure on him to get a BKB. Even a, a Blade Mail could be good against the Death Prophet. Death Prophet herself, how is she doing? It looks like, uh, I guess she is going to go for the BKB on Limb. And against, against the Invoker and the Burst of the Timber Saw. Yeah. Be nice for just waltzing in with the ult on. Is it, isn't Chandra's bot against a BKB? Uh, oh, nope. Moment's just got Hyperstone. Yeah, well, fair enough. I mean, look, the one argument is that Enchantress, the only way she dies is to the Invoker Timber Sword damage, the by BKB. But I think the response, if you ask Wendell, he'd be like, well, if they're using everything on Enchantress, that's meant to be a win for us because yes. I'm, ac yeah, I'm actually yeah. the off laner. Yeah. I guess, yeah, it works in that sense that, yeah, he's sort of the kind of come and get tank at the moment. The secret, of course, I've only been able to kill him that one time that Misery. Able to burst him down, still in the lane. Misery moving in, but oh dear, Misery! Look at Swindle just sitting down on the side. The swap backs there. They've got the control, and Misery will deny himself just in time. But again, he's got to be careful when he comes down these lanes because uh, they've already got the control. They just need Enchantress and one of these disablers nearby, and they can just chunk for even the tankiest of heroes on Secret. I think this game must be incredibly frustrating for Complexity because they struggle so much to get pickoffs. They know they need them, and then whenever they they're about to get one on Misery, he just denies himself. 
really got to be getting under their skin there. They're strong in a lot of ways, but they're not finding good ways to make use of their strengths on the map. Riha? Uh, looks like he'll uh, have a good attempt at this tier 2, but he's on his own and complexity coming through. Weeha silenced up and taken down. Can he blink out? It looks like he should be able to and ooh, yep, he gets out, as you said, yes. Making use of the ages there in some shape or form. And it's going to be five heroes on the side of complexity coming towards the mid and that will see if they're ready to try and get a push on themselves. They know that the ages is down. This could be a good time to try and have a go at it, as they do have exorcism available. Yeah, if, if they had made that kill before the Aegis, that forces a buyback, it would be like the best, the, the biggest moment of the game for them so far. Because the Aegis is there, it's not really that big. But we still see, we still see the exorcism, and I don't know if Secret fights into it, or if they try to do like they did before, wait for it, wait it oh, off. Oh, swap onto Puppy, silent stuff, I think. Did he just try and smoke? You sure? Uh, it's uh, looking Looked a bit like... of messy at the moment, Secret Misery's trying to come in, try and do something in return. Windows just sitting there, dishing out the damage with this impetus. Bam, bam, bam. Two dead on the side of Secret. Weeha does yours himself. You got Envy cleaning up on the back lines, though. Has already found himself a double kill. Looking for hands can will get the triple. Envy on his Weaver, pretty much recovering the game here for Secret. And this could be huge if they can get the four. Swindles, an incredibly high priority target. He's only died once this game. And Envy looking to make sure that it becomes a second. In fact, the Tornado is going to be the one that finishes off. Goes through, takes him down. Double kill for Weeha, triple kill for Envy. The cores are coming online, they're certainly doing it, and suddenly Envy now with 4.2k gone on top of the Dessa. Yeah, and this is that problem. Once the Weaver got too big, there's nothing in Complexity's draft to deal with them. It's the same problem we've been discussing all along. They don't have pick-off, they also don't have anything to deal with Weaver. Those are the same kind of tools. Moonshard's Weaver. In time. By the way, did DP ulti in the last fight? I don't think uh, he did. He didn't get it off. He like ran out of mana or something and then couldn't use it, which... The whole time we're talking about how the ulti is their big tool. And Secret off the back of that, suddenly knocking on the on the racks here on this bottom lane. There'll be a buyback from Enchantress. They've lost the range racks. Give it a good shot at the melee. It's going to be the time that's used by Weaver. Lincoln's has been popped in. Well, Weaver, Shallow Grave Dub, he's got to get himself out of it. He's still ticking down low. He could be in trouble. He's silenced up at Envy down for 70 seconds. Going from top of the charts to bottom of the charts there with his performance. And now a very vulnerable position for Secret to be in. And 60 seconds he, without he, the Weaver. He, he doesn't have buyback, right? No. He just bought the Minshot. No buyback on the map. Enchantress used buyback, so I guess... Similar... Well... Puppy get out? I don't think so. Ah, uh, there's your route. And that is also tossed out. He himself, no buyback as well. It's definitely a blunder for Envy. I, I feel like it's so difficult for them to kill him that... If he doesn't have buyback, he really just shouldn't be dying. He's, he's got to be more careful and... I think it's it's probably on him a bit and on secret in general if complexity gets I don't know a Rax here. Got 30 seconds to go for the push and they do have a fortification. Let's see what he can do in terms of holding and whoa whoa whoa. Okay, well that's bad. Misery wasn't even in the base. He was still trying to do something bottom and they just end up straight up killing him. Weha looking for the defense. Going in onto the bear, there's a sun strike, it's not going to connect, Chessie but will keep the man alive. Because the Enchantress and the Venge went for the Timber Sword, that means they definitely can't go for the high ground though. So I think Misery will see that as like a worthy sacrifice, it's one of those like pile I die deaths where we actually kept our base alive. Still could definitely go either way, yeah, as you said, keeping the base up, Secret is still there with the definitive lead. You've got 10k here as an advantage. And they did, of course, do a significant amount of damage here to the base of the bottom. Melee Rex do still stand in that lane. And Envy with the Moonshards, the Desso. I mean, it, could he just continue to build offensively? Or does he need to ever look for something like the BKB? Or is the Lincoln's going to be enough for him this it game? It should be enough. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really sure. I, I didn't I didn't catch exactly the, you know, the combination of why he died. But I, I think it's on play. I really think it's like he got a bit too relaxed. And... Sort of the way I see the rest of the game is if Eternal Envy doesn't die again or doesn't die without buyback again, very, very difficult for complexity. And I think you'll know it. I think you'll have like, they'll discuss, they'll have discussed it when he died the first time. Like, okay, yeah, this is the priority. Just make sure I don't die and we're sorted. And of course, we are still progressing at a, a very good rate on this Afoka. He's 5k nearly above the Lone Druid, top farmer on the side of complexity. One tool that's actually working really well for Complexity that I've noticed is the Vengeful Spirit Swap. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Venge has been big. And <laughs> actually bought a Shadow Blade. I saw the amulet earlier and thought it would just be a Glimmer Cape, but we've been talking about pickle problems, and that's, you know, one of the better items for them to buy. Vengeful Spirit, get a Shadow Blade, get right onto someone to start the gank. 
absolutely just having that initiator someone that's that's going to be able to to catch out the weaver i think so far the biggest issue here for uh for envy has been when he's kind of time lapsed and then the death prophet comes through with the silence and that's, that's actually that's the big thing think about it with the shadow blade on venge it's already possible for them to catch out weaver with like quickly swap and then stun and then whoever else is there they'd have to have some true sight but it makes it a bit more scary for for the weaver speaking of which here we go the exact combination you talked about boy oh, just get off the time lapse look at the impetus go doesn't quite have the vision for that final one to touch envy he hasn't got to, he hasn't got the uh, the time the time that's caused already used a whole one touch in but envy will be lucky enough to get himself out of there but as we saw he's got to be very careful and aware that this venge has got that shadow blade so i wonder if like maybe the players oh. Oh. let's try for the combo but straight away the route onto weha silence as well secret they've been rumbled here with this attempt they throw down the ice shot they do trap limp i roll in but they actually go on the snowball onto the lone druid bear they're falling low. They should be able to get in. They do. French got it for Weeha. But look at the cars bouncing between the two of them. Invoker getting taken down. Impetus 1 2 shotting Pylai die. Double kill for Swindles. And now with the Exorcism up, Complexity could look to try and go for a set of racks in the mid lane. There's no fortification here for the side of Secret. Weeha does have buyback there. Secret Envy. really overextended there. I think Envy told them that there were two people ganking him top and they tried to go in. And then they suddenly realized that actually Complexity's all here. Uh, BKB actually being popped by Weeha here as they look to try and take down the bear. This will be the second time here. He doesn't have a resummon for 85 seconds. That's the bear gone. They get the bear down. And they're looking for the owner itself. Chessy being caught out in the tree line, jumping forward. They will find him. Hans Kenner able to TP out. Chessy, I say that will. It'll take him a bit of time, but Envy does chase him now with the Shikuchi. He gets himself a double kill as he also picked up the Venge in that fight. So again, secret, they, just to, every time I need, they find themselves the kills. Bottom lane, they're going in with the bonus to travel on the Timber Saw, on the Invoker. They've caught out Liv. Can they get themselves the kill? Yeah, with the right clicks, the physical damage is too much. They get themselves the DP kill. Buyback from the Vengeful Spirit. The other two do have buyback available as well. Swindles, looking to get himself a position from the back. As King Glimmer caped up, Shadow Blade, they'll close it down to Weehan, they get the kill. That's a die back here on the Invoker. Weaver, Envy, trying to fight. They've got a sentry down here. It's managing missile in four seconds, but it's not soon enough. The Who Stop, though, that could be enough. Swindles just right clicking him down. The time lapse is there, though, and now Envy's turning. There's four dead at the moment on the side of Complexity. Could soon to be five. Swindles gets Shakram by Misery. They do take him down. He's now down for 85 seconds. They don't have a buyback on the Enchantress, they don't have it on the Vengeful Spirit, they do have it on the other three. But DP doesn't have ulti even if she buys back, so it's not really that useful of a buyback. Does the Lone Druid have a resummon? Uh, it's probably available in 10 seconds, so he will have it back pretty shortly after he's back up. Fortification coming out here though. We've already seen the pushing power of this Weaver with the Deso. The Moonshards can make short work here off the rack, and Mr. just jumped straight in here. See the bear gets stuck with the roof, but nah, Death Ward gets laid down, but Misery gonna be able to walk it off with the Ghost Scepter. So the Death Ward effectively useless here from Hansken. Punch the bear, and again, this would be the bear dying again. That's just been resummoned, so that is bear down for 100 seconds. Complexity, after really giving Secret a run for their money for what seems to be the entire game, suddenly just really falling apart. They find themselves two lanes of melee racks, and well, the full set as well, just on this bottom lane. So Secret keeping themselves in. But it's, I don't know if, if this is going to be a game that Secret are happy with if they win this one. Yeah, I, I think Complexity in the sort of micro interactions in the game have, have actually outplayed Secret. They've had smarter, like small plans for ganks and how to approach laning, where to, you know, how to execute their fights. But Secret in the, the macro level have had, you know, they've just kind of tactically beaten them throughout the game. And that's what it felt like to me. Complexity were mostly choking. It took moments of brilliance and clever ideas for them to, to get those opportunities. Uh, but they're dro they're, ultimately their drop puts them in a position where it's very difficult to deal with the Weaver. They, they very nearly killed him, actually, in that last fight. They did, yeah. They, they nearly did, not yeah. I think they would have as well if the uh, Enchantress hadn't run out of mana. I think the, the EMP from Weeha really causing an issue there for Swindles. Now smoke up and they'll look to go. That's actually... Look at the buyback statuses now for both of the sides. So, as we can see on the die, three heroes without buyback available. Check Roshan. Oh, it's just about to spawn. Envy, stay there. Yeah, he's got it. Got it. They'll go for Roche. I make short work of that complexity. Not really in a position to make their way over to the pit. So this will now be secret fighting with the Aegis on Invoker. And it's getting close to the point where this could be what they need to try and get the last tier two and, and look for a 
pushing complexity close to having mega creeps. So they are still going to be fighting at the high ground very likely, and Lone Druid and DP do have buybacks. But at the same time we saw in the previous, like, those are really not good buyback heroes. If Lone Druid buys back, usually won't have the summon. If DP buys back, usually won't have the ulti. So, I actually think that this is going to be a very difficult defense for Complexity. And there we have it. Tier 2's gone. The last lane exposed. Secret. See how... I think Envy goes for the top racks. There's still that one racks up there. I guess he can actually, yeah. But they're just playing it safe for this this moment in time. I guess Secret feeling a little bit more comfortable now with the way that the last few minutes have gone. As we can see, they've gotten what they had and now they're starting to push it even a... Yeah, they, a they don't actually... Further. They don't have to be in a rush. I think that's what they probably yeah. discussed. They were like, we could go high ground now, but there's no reason to do it. We can just wait and... Only gets better for us. They would have liked to bait out the DP LT or something like that. They, I mean, if DP waits to LT, then they're going, definitely. Uh, Halberd's now done on Misery as well. Kind of interesting choice, but suits the going against, obviously, this Enchantress, who's not got a BKB, did build the Rod of Atos. After Moon Shards and, and the, the Dragon Lance and the Axe. I mean, this is still a very, very scary inch if she is allowed to get her hits out. You could certainly rip through some of these heroes. Of course, Cheese is being held by Envy here, ready for the next fight. But as you said, it's definitely up to Secret when the next fight is going to happen. They're the ones in the driver's seat after getting that Roshan, after having those two lanes of melee racks down on the side of Complexity. I'm kind of on the lookout for what the next clever trick is from Complexity, because yeah. that's what I feel like they've had up their sleeve this game. Quite a lot of clever tricks and movements. Probably involved the bench. I, I think that's that's got to be the plan. That's probably the main thing Secret are scared of as well in pushing the high ground. Because I said that the lone druid. It's not about the buybacks, which usually that's part of why the high ground push is scary. It's about the venge. You're gonna be swapped deep into the enemy base if you if you try go, and that could really make a, a fight stop badly. Just popping our head into the jungle. As we can see, Secret have got really good vision over complexity's half of the map now. So it's very hard to leave the base and do anything. We are. Caught out the bear. Try and make a go for it, but the bear's gonna be caked up. Oh, it's getting itself back up to the high ground. See how secret approach and like come out? They they they're making sure that no one gets swapped in. I think they know that the the venge swap is is the one risk to them. Get isolated and then the fight starts very badly. And he keeps trying. <laughs> because he keeps trying to push that lane in. Range wreck still. Been pretty good in terms of the health, but. They've only got two minutes left on Weeha's Aegis. Who's going to get swapped? Who's, who's going to have the courage, really, to, to lead in here? Secret? Bam. Smoke and go. Let's see what kind of angle they go into the base from. They're going to try and wrap around from the bottom. It deals with the, the get swapped in thing, though, because you, you're suddenly just all there because of the smoke. And they throw out their spells mid to give the impression that, that they are still there. And here's the deep wraparound into the base from them. And look at the jump to Chessie. Cold snap, definitely glass connects. And here we go, goes straight for the Glimmer Cape will come out. Chessie falling rather low. Misery, now up with the paralyzing cast. And Limp coming in with the exorcism. The Siphon as well. Puppy snowballing straight into the man, but the BKB comes out with the Death Prophet. Starting to force back the side of Secret out of the base. If they can wake up, wait out the DPLT, they can probably just go back. In fact, I think Envy, well, Weeha just realized he could just turn and right click him. Limp getting incredibly low, but the stun onto Weeha, who yields himself out. There's a shallow grave out onto him, but Weeha could still be in trouble. He's still got the Aegis, he wants to use it and he will. That's going to be him going down, but they did get the kill onto the Death Prophet. Death Prophet does have buyback, Snowball onto Swindles. Misery still trying to go ham here against the boys, against Hanskin. Hanskin now out of mana. Weeha gets himself a double kill as he takes down the Enchantress, and Enchantress does not have buyback. Misery escaping by the skin of his teeth. And this could be the fight that Secret were looking for. They're forced out of buyback already, and they have killed the Enchantress for good. Limp with the Siphon, but look at the damage from Envy. He's been silenced. Lincoln's blocking the magic missile. V. It's safe. Going back out. That's been the swap here. Bringing Weeha across, but Puppy, he's going in incredibly deep. Snowball's forward. Death War coming out from Hanskin onto Puppy. Puppy will just get himself out of there. He survives. Death War not going to catch anyone else. The Secret able to reposition themselves away from Witch Doctor. The MP is going to clip onto Chessie. Misery trying to go forward. This man, a bit of a madman, playing around with minimal health. The cast comes out. The Crypt Swarm as well with a Radiance Burn. Misery's going to go down. Ends up killing himself there. 
but not physically, as he doesn't get the deny out, and that complexity will be credited with the kill, but Space Egg has created, they found the main right to the mid, BKB popped by Envy, looks for the right click straight away onto the Death Prophet, there'll be a buyback now from Misery, the Sun Strike are in fact after Yules, finishing off Death Prophet, Jesse's gonna get bursted down, there's four dead on the side of complexity, Deafening Blast, the right click, they'll get Handskin as well, there are buybacks available, and they will use them, but they're being Mega Creeps. Secret now with the edge, looking to the tier 4s. It's been an incredibly messy game here from the side, but GG is caught by Complexity. Secret will find that win that they were desperately searching for. But I think they've got a bit of talking to do uh, as a team after that game. Scan. Yeah, I think Complexity end up, to me from this tournament, they look very similar to Na'Vi. There's elements of what they do that looks very promising, but I feel like they need this tournament to get to the next tournament where they might perform a lot better. Secret, on the other hand, gets 11 